If there was one meal that you can't live without, what is it? Uh, Sunday gravy at my mother's house. How about just one ingredient? I cannot live without dark chocolate. I don't know. I'm very lucky. I mean, that's a hard thing to say, but every time I eat with my family, I'm enriched. I get, I, I get better as a person. So if I didn't have my family, I couldn't live. How about you, Curtis? I make pancakes with my kids. And they get in there, they make such a mess everywhere, but like the making of the pancakes is brilliant, the eating of the pancakes, it's a simple stuff. Okay, well people have asked me what my last meal on earth would be, my death row meal, can I give you that? Because I thought a lot about that. That's okay. scary. I know. We're going to start with a big, big leafy green salad and perfect baguette with butter. Then we're going to have chicken and dumplings and perfect fresh fish tacos and Michael Simon's habanero glazed ham and Mario Batali's. Uh, um, Sicilian style calamari. And then for dessert, we're having banana pudding with Carla's wafers, and we're having chocolate cake, and we're having brownie a mode and champagne because it's my last freaking meal. If you had one meal that you could not live without, what would that meal be? Oh my gosh, we just had that meal on Saturday. Two alumni Food and Wine Best New Chefs, John and Vinny from Los Angeles, cooked at an event we were at in Pebble Beach, and we can't stop thinking about it.